Today, I'm going to tell you guys how to get your Funko Pops signed and autographed, and it all starts right now. So the first main way you guys can get your Funko Pops signed is through attending large Comic Cons or conventions, such as New York Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, or Star Wars Celebration. Now obviously because of COVID, those events have not been happening, but it's starting to look like things are going back to normal and that they are happening because at least the last I heard, New York Comic Con is happening in October and San Diego Comic Con is happening in November, which is awesome. And at these Comic Cons, they often have a large list of celebrities who appear there and do photographs and of course, autograph signings. So what you guys wanna do is first of all, pick a con and if you can't go to one of those larger ones, there's almost always a smaller con that's gonna be in your area area. For example, if you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you can go to Dallas Fan Expo. So it doesn't have to be one of the big ones. You can guys, of course, can go to some of the small ones. And whenever you pick what con you're going to, make sure to go onto their website, go down to the bottom and subscribe to their mailing list or newsletter because because on those newsletters, they're gonna tell you guys which guests are coming, what days they will be at the convention, and most importantly, how to sign up for an autograph slot because the autograph slots, especially for the more popular people, sell out very quickly, so you wanna make sure you're on that and sign up for an autograph time as soon as you possibly can. And once you guys get a time to actually get your Funko Pop autographed, I wanna give you guys some general advice as to kind of how you do this. So first things first, when you guys actually get your autograph, you have to, I mean have to, make sure it is third party verified. For example, I got a Darth Maul Funko Pop autograph by Sam Witwer and on the side of the box there is a small sticker basically acting as a certificate of authenticity that Sam Witwer actually autographed my Funko Pop. And you guys really need to do that, either have a sticker or a JSA which stands for James Spence Authentication, that's a service that a lot of people use. Just some sort of certificate of authenticity to prove that the actual person autographed your Funko Pop. Because without that, the Funko Pop is pretty much worthless and if you ever try to resell it or give it to somebody, they're not gonna think it's real. So you have to have some sort of proof that the person you got the autograph from actually did it. And when you're actually transporting your Funko Pop to the signing, there's a couple ways you can do it because at a Comic-Con, you're obviously walking around and people are bumping into you and if you have it in a bag, for example, it's more likely than not gonna get damaged. So what you can do is take the pop and put it in a pop protector. It doesn't, doesn't have to be a hard stack, just a normal pop protector should be good enough. You can do that or you can do a second method which is basically taking the Funko Pop out of the box and let me let me show you that. So basically what you have to do is you have your Funko Pop and then you open it up and then you take out the insert in the actual figure as well as the little backdrop that comes to the pop if that's applicable. And then all you have to do is just flatten the box and, and it should have a bit of a rectangular shape with obviously the two flaps on the end. And then just take that, you can stack a bunch of them in your actual bag at your Comic-Con so you, have, you can have like seven or eight in your bag so it works out pretty well. And that way the box will more likely than not, not get damaged, so that's nice. So it should arrive there in pretty good condition. And and when you're actually getting your Funko Pop signed, make sure you do it in the front window of the box because if you get it on the top of the box, or the, obviously the bottom of the box, no one can see it, no one will like it. And make sure you pick a color that fits the color weight of the particular pop because usually they give you a choice. For example, in the Darth Maul pop, which I'm really sad I don't have, I'm very sorry about that guys, I picked yellow as the autograph color because obviously Darth Maul is mostly red. And obviously if I had picked red, it would have been really hard to see the actual autograph because it would have just blended into his skin and his cloak. So by picking yellow, I made it sure that I was able to see the autograph and really pop out from the figure. I know he did have yellow eyes, but still that didn't really detract from the overall quality of the autograph, if that makes sense. So way number two you can get your Funko Pop autograph is by going through some smaller companies. Companies like Zobie Productions, Seven Bucks a Pop, and Undiscovered Realm, just to name a few. Oftentimes those, those companies either have autographed pops directly for sale it's on their website, you can pay whatever the price is and, and then that's that. Undiscovered Realm, for example, oftentimes has a autographed Funko Pop mystery box going on, on their website. I, I don't think they have one going on right now, but just follow them on Instagram so you guys know exactly what's going on. And companies like Seven Bucks a Pop, for example, have a signature series program where every week they have autographed Funko Pop drops on their website. For example, on May the 4th, they had a Greedo Funko Pop autograph by Paul Blake, who was the actual actor who played Greedo in A New Hope, and that was available on their website for you guys to buy. So they, again, they have these special signings that are every week and usually different fandoms, so that's pretty cool. It has a diverse selection of pops you can possibly get. For example, they'll have an actor come in, the actor will autograph a bunch of regular pops and then the, the actor will also autograph a couple of rare pops that are related to his, his or her character. For example, Ed Asner, the guy who played Carl in the Up movie, he signed I think roughly like 200 pops for seven bucks a pop. 
200 of them being the regular Carl Pop, and three of them either being the Carl and Ellie two pack from NYCC or the Kevin with Up House from, I think it was also NYCC a couple years ago. So that was pretty cool. And that's again, that's another bit of a mystery element to this in addition to the Undiscovered Realm mystery boxes. Method number three is getting autographed Funko Pops through individual accounts. Because oftentimes smaller social media accounts arrange special signings with certain actors. One, one account that really comes to mind when I think of this is the Office Funko Pops out on Instagram. I don't know how, but he's in frequent contact with many members of the Office cast and frequently arranges signings for autographed Funko Pops. You can go on his website and purchase a pre-order of a certain signing. I believe right now he actually has a Dwight with the basketball uniform signing going on right now. You have a champ and you have a one in six chance at the Chase variant of that same pop. And of course, it's autographed by Rain Wilson, who plays Dwight. But it also helps to follow your favorite actors and actresses out on their personal social media accounts because oftentimes they'll announce signings if they're doing some. For example, there was Katie Sackhoff who played Bo-Katan in a lot of the Star Wars animated properties and of course the live action version of The Mandalorian. She announced a signing with a third party company out on her Twitter account, which most people would not have known about had they not been following her out on Twitter. So that's really important. Again, follow your favorite celebrities so you'll know if they do any surprise signings. Method number four is actually sending your physical Funko Pop box, like the flattened version we talked about earlier in the video, out to your favorite actor or actress directly. Or it doesn't have to be an actor or an actress, that's just an example. There is a website called fanmail.biz, and on that website they have an extensive database of different celebrities' addresses. I'm not sure if this is like their personal house or anything, but it's public knowledge, so it's not you're not breaking any law or anything like that by using their website. And once you find a actor or actress you want something to be signed by, you can send your Funko Pop box in a eight and a half by 11 envelope, obviously with all the postage and stuff. So you have to pay for a stamp, make sure you have your return address and obviously the address from the actual website. So you can do that, you can send it to them and maybe, just maybe they will return it to you with the actual insert signed. And if you do that, make sure you put some sticky notes on the side of the box so they know exactly where to sign the, the pop, what you want them to say, if anything, because they might even put a personal message in there so you want to be as specific as you can so make sure you're actually putting sticky notes on the actual insert that you put into the envelope to send to them so they know exactly what you want them to do and that's a trade-off with these other companies because yes you are paying a bit of a premium for the actual autographs but at the same time you have a guaranteed pop coming to you whereas this last method although it may cost a bit less if any money at all it's going to be a lot more rare i guess to get something back if that makes sense because i'm not sure if these how many autographs these celebrities will do for free this is kind of how the business works so that's going to wrap it up for today i really hope so that's going to wrap it up for today today no so that's going to wrap it up for today i really hope this video helped you guys out and if you guys want to get some autograph funko pops i really hope this helped you out with that thank you all so much for watching and have a great day bye